Now, you might think I'm biased. I am English after all, but I think one of the best resources on the internet for learning a new language is the BBC website. There are so many languages covered and there's so much material and it also works for all different levels of learners. If we look at Italian, for example, here you have on the Italian page, Italian for beginners, Italian steps, which is a series of conversations. You can listen to the audio and practice the pronunciation. You have learning games, always important to make learning fun. And then you also have Don't Try This Abroad, a collection of other people's mistakes. So hopefully when you go to the country, you don't make the same ones. If we look at Italian steps, there is a charming young lady by the name of Giovanna who takes us on a tour of Venice. We can choose all different topics. Here, if we look at out on a date, for example, we have vocabulary appropriate for a date. And if we press start, we can listen to a conversation between herself and her date for the night. We can listen to it straight off without reading. Vuoi un gelato? Offro io. Va bene, grazie. Allora, cosa prendi? We can also show the Italian and we can show the English. As well as all the obvious languages like French, Spanish, Italian, etc., the BBC website also covers a lot of languages which are less widely used. Here we have 36 languages link, we'll click on that, and we have Albanian, Basque, Belarusian, and more. If we click on the Basque link, what we have are 12 essential holiday phrases just to help you get by, make a good impression, and who knows, make some friends maybe. You can download these onto your MP3 player or you can print them out and you can also click on the phrase here on the audio file and practice the pronunciation. Okay, sure. The BBC website isn't just for beginners though. There's loads of material on there that will help you to sound even more fluent than you actually are. The kind of expressions that say French people use that your teacher at school didn't tell you. So you have a section called cool Cool French exists, there's cool Spanish, there's cool Italian, and there's cool German. If we look at, for example, the mood section of French expressions, French idiomatic expressions, and we click on previous, J'ai la banane. This is an expression it took me two years living in the country to actually discover, and you can go to this section and improve your fluency without even setting foot in the country. Yeah, and there's actually quite a few things you can do on the BBC website to kind of get up to date on what's actually happening in these countries, um, both on a linguistic level as well as uh, a cultural and societal level. The BBC offers uh, right here on this website as well, you can see for four languages, French, Spanish, German, and Italian, some general information about foreign language TV. Now, if I were to click on this link, German TV, right here, it takes me to all I need to know about watching German TV. And here you can find uh, the BBC programs, you can find general news programs, uh, as well as online programs. Um, and this online programs is an interesting spot here. Um, what it allows you to do is basically just find in one quick list uh, many, many of the, uh, of the online programs that are actually available for streaming right through your web browser. Um, and, you know, basically to have video on demand in that language. Um, the other feature there in that area is just about general news here in the given language uh, and it'll give you lots of uh, information about news, not necessarily video news, but to read the news, etc. and so on um, in those languages. And uh, another thing we just want to really point out quickly regarding the news topic is that uh, the BBC World Service offers, if you just go to their homepage, bbc.co.uk, um, you'll see down here on the left side uh, that they have the World Service news in 32 languages. So I'm just going to click on on that and uh, basically that takes that takes us to a, an area of the site where you can well, that's actually a pretty cool tool they have going on they have streaming news coming up at the top from all these different languages uh, and I'm just gonna roll over some of these languages here to show more information um, about that particular spot it shows you the part of the world where these news headlines are coming from as well as one of the latest top stories and it has loads of little quick links to get through to uh, being able to use this on your mobile phone, maybe RSS syndication, radio, TV, uh, video, etc. That's not available for all of them, but it is a pretty amazingly quick way to go and find uh, news uh, to practice with straight through the BBC, um, as well as lots of uh, multimedia content. So 
We're pretty big on the BBC's website. It is amazingly, uh, you know, uh, wide-reaching in the, in the language learning category, especially for beginners, but ranging right up to uh, intermediates and more uh, advanced if you're going to be, you know, looking into the news aspect and uh, pretty much goes on for a lifetime. Uh, in some places, uh, not everywhere in the world, just wanted to turn out, uh, to point out really quickly that you can use the BBC Learning Zone, which is a broadband uh, service that they provide with uh, class clips, I guess they call them, for primary and secondary level. So let's say you're a secondary, you know, uh, even teachers will often like this, uh, but as far as finding material for yourself, um, you know, you can choose the secondary level, say you're learning, uh, let's use Spanish as an example. Um, you can go ahead and see here all the topics they have available um, for broadband, uh, basically broadcasts here in that language, and often they'll even help you uh, with, uh, with some vocabulary lists and whatnot there. So lots of good content on the BBC. Thanks, Tim, for pointing this out, and uh, we'll welcome you to our next uh, videocast here at freelanguage.org. Thanks.